We'll start up on the outside of that back row with a great for Taddy Glasuziak. Just beside him will be Colton Hickory. You can see down the inside, though, is Cody Webb. And we saw that Tim Apple was able to make good use of that. The junior final, let's see what the number one rider, Cody Webb, is able to do. He's down towards turn one. You can see there 15 seconds for the riders until the start of this race. Good side on the 33, just beside Kevin Gallas, keeping my eye for one of those junior world champions. Cody Webb, the reigning world champion, on the inside in that back row the great. Getting ready for the gate to drop here. Final two in Risa. And it's a clean start for all the riders, but are they able to make it through turn one this time? They are. And it looks like it's Vieira just giving chase to Emil Yusak out in front. And Yusak is making the step up from the junior class. But the 61 is down. That's Cargo, the Polish rider. And he's down in the opening section of the lap. See at the back of the field, though, it looks like Colton Haker's down in 13th spot, just behind number 13, Paul Torres. Kevin Gallis and Tati Lasuziak also just trying to make their progress. Cody Webb, though, from that inside line, he's able to get himself up into third in the early stages of the lap, and now into second for the number one machine, and he's going to try and put some pressure on Emma Newsack to take that lead. You can see just how difficult it is for the riders to get through that rock section. Cody Webb out in front, he goes from row two to P1 on lap one here in Risa Final 2. And it's a comfortable lead out in front for Webb from Emil Yusak. Just stretching his legs out in front is Cody Webb on that number one machine. Exactly what he has to do because with the likes of Plasuziak down in eight, Colton Hager in ninth, this really is a key opportunity for the reigning world champion to make up some serious points on his championship rivals. Of course, as it stands, Coming into final two, it is Cody Webb that leads the championship. You can see him in new sectors getting hung out to drive through that section by Goera. As Kevin Gallas continues to make some progress on that 71. Paddy Blasuziak able to pick off Kevin Gallas through the rocks. So Blasuziak comes across the line and he should be up into fifth spot there for Blasuziak. And Taddy, of course, just trying to make sure he's able to keep the pressure on Cody Webb. The Susiak finished second in the final one. Colton Haker finished third in the final one. Haker's down in seventh spot. And the three leading riders will be doing everything they can to try and just get themselves out to those key point scoring positions with Cody Webb out in front. Of course, no Alfredo Gomez in this race. Gomez crashed in final one. And uh, that's why he's not taking the start now. So clearly, an injury there for Gomez following that crash. Emil Yusak just getting himself caught up once again in the rock section. Colton Haker on the number 10 machine. He's going to be putting some pressure on Yusak to get through. Big jump there from Tani Lasuziak on the triple one. Down through the pivot turn. Lasuziak's in third, putting the pressure on Guerra. And is he going to be able to try and make a move on this lap through that tighter inside lane in the lane choice section? The Suziak really does just look like a matter of time before he's able to move up into second spot. The Suziak trying to take that inside line. Is he going to hold it down towards the right hander? Nice and easy there for Taddy. The Suziak, a move that doesn't cost him any time as he gets through into second spot. 17 points per second, 20 points for the race leader. So the Suziak goes with Cody Webb out in front. It really is a case of just doing everything he can just to finish second. 16 seconds is the gap between the Suziak and Webb. So as we come into the second half of the race, all Cody Webb has to do is just keep going in this race. Colton Haker up into fourth spot on the number 10 machine. You can see Haker now on his Husker bar and just trying to put some pressure on Guerra as he tries to push his way into third spot. He'll try and make the same move that we saw the Suziak make at the end of the major standing towards the right-hander. The Suziak comes through the right-hander, should be followed now by Colton Haker. Haker able to make that move. 15 points for third. Haker finished third in final one. Now up into third in final in final two. You can see Cargill just getting out of the way through that rock section. Paddy Blasuzia comfortably across the line to start another lap just in front of Colton Haker. That gap now, two and a half seconds between Haker and Blasuzia. Blasuzia, of course, in the Super Bowl session had no answers for Colton Haker in the opening half of the lap. This is where Haker was strong. Let's see what he can do over the course of the next two minutes plus one lap. Mistake there from Blasuziak, and he came over the cylinders, just lost a little bit of control of his KTM, and that's allowed the Husqvarna of Colton Haker to get through. Haker's up into second, just in front of Blasuziak on that triple one. We saw in final one, Blasuziak was getting a little bit ragged, and he's doing the same now in final two. Blasuziak, of course, last year suffered a lot with arm pump problems on his return to Super Enduro. It's a physical track here in Risa. Maybe just 
having some ill effects once again there from Lasuziak. Gap between himself and Guerra behind him is two seconds. The gap to Colton Haker is just over three seconds now. So Colton Haker just stretching out a lead now over Taddy Lasuziak. Diego Vieira is lapped traffic from Lasuziak. Out in front, Cody Webb just completing another lap, just coming through the pivot turn on number one KTM. Comfortably out in front with another fast lap last time around from Cody Webb as he continues to extend his lead nice and easy from the reigning world champion. Won two races in recent last year. Trying to win two races once again this year with final one and final two. And he really has locked in control here on that number one KTM. Webb, the reigning world champion, former Enduro Cross champion in the US and trials champion in the US as well. And uh, through the technical sections here on Risa, that really has been his calling card. You can see there with Webb starting another lap. It'll be the penultimate lap of the race for the American. Californian out in front, Californian up in second as well. We saw a German one two in the junior class, but Colin Hager with a mistake as he comes through the box and over the log. And Tiny Lasusiak is able to get through. Colton Haker able to get going once again. Two laps to go for Haker, and you can see Lasusiak's in second, and he's got a big lead now over Colton Haker. Lasusiak's been ragged. Colton Haker made another mistake, though, through the rocks, over the log, got himself caught. Is Lasusiak going to be able to hold on to this second spot on the final two laps of this race? See Lasusiak there trying to lap Kevin Gallas. Gallas is down in eighth spot. Colton Haker, though, closing that gap straight away from Colton Haker on the number 10 machine. Lasuziak's going to be under pressure on the final lap of this race. Cody Webb just starting his final lap. This is the section where we saw Colton Haker make his mistake last time around through the sand. Of course, the sand has caught him out many times in the past here in Risa. Looks like it's caught out. Lasuziak of Colton Haker with a chance to take second. Haker gets through. So despite the mistake on the previous lap of Colton Haker, he's got himself back through into second. And those all important 17 championship points in front of Tani Lasuziak. Cody Webb, though, just trying to get through the log ramp. Webb, of course, with such a big lead, he can afford to make that mistake. Final lap here for Cody Webb as he tries to come across the line. Another race victory here for Cody Webb as he takes the 20 championship points and extends his championship lead. But it's Colton Haker that's recovered from down in 12th on the opening lap for Colton Haker to get himself up into second. Is he going to be able to hold off Lasuziak? Lasuziak with a mistake. That's going to guarantee second for Colton Haker. 17 points for the American and 15 points there for Tani Lasuziak in third. Once again for Lasuziak. Haker and Webb have been on the top three in each of the finals in the opening five finals of the year. Webb leading this one from Colton Haker by 19 seconds at the bow. Really was an impressive performance from that man, Colton Webb, the reigning world champion. And really was a class ride there from Colton Webb. He was able to take advantage of a better lane down in towards turn one. He was on the inside line and he used that to get himself up into third position at turn one. And he was leading by the end of the opening lap. See here with Webb though. Just able to get himself through the log section at the end of the lap. And a big jump across the line to those 20 points. And a second race victory here in Risa tonight for Cody Webb. In the reverse grade, 5 2. Webb is able to pick up the win comfortably from a recovering Colton Haker. Paddy Blasuziak in third. Once again, the top three are the only on lap riders. Good performance there from Guerra Ruiz in fourth position in front of Paul Tarez. Perez on that 13 was another good ride in front of Blake Utsai and Kevin Gallas. The top three riders in the world once more, the top three riders here in Risa Final 2. Here's the reigning world champion and the Final 2 victor, Cody Webb. Yeah. Congratulations, comfortable lead for you, great start, key opportunity to gain valuable championship points and because of that you've extended your championship lead. Tell us about your ride. Yeah, honestly, I think it was a mistake on the riders in front of me because you have to start behind the rider in front of you. And uh, everyone went all the way outside, and the inside gate it was open. And I pointed to the one of the course mar course marker guys, and I was like, "That spot open?" And he's like, "Yeah, take it." So I mean, it worked out perfect. I think I was third place coming down the first straightaway, and uh, never looked back from there. And those guys had to fight through the pack. So finally, I got lucky on a start and pulled a little weasel maneuver. But yeah, they left it open for me. Two race wins last round in Germany, two race wins now. You have a comfortable feel with this place, haven't you? You've got to seem to have a good connection here. Yeah, you know, I, I love it here. It's just always a good time and 
been practicing my German a little bit lately. It's not very good, but my wife's parents just moved to Bavaria, so they're working there now. So I might be over here more often, hanging out. So definitely next year, uh, my German will be better, and I'll be able to cheer on the crowd. Good luck for the final race. Thank you.